Hi my cuties, welcome back to another vlog. I am gonna start off today's vlog. Sorry if you hear um, some noises, it's the ice machine. Our ice machine is very vocal, makes lots of noises. And I feel like you guys heard it in like one of our previous videos and you're like, what was that noise? And it's the ice machine. It took us literally like three weeks to get used to it. We we're like, what is that sound? And I still am like, what is that? But it's the ice machine, so beware. Um, but I wanted to start off today's video with a little boohoo haul. Um, I recently got some pieces from them for kind of, I went for like a luxe athleisure vibe. I feel like I always like in my orders, I kind of have a theme that I'm going for. Not always, but sometimes. Um, but I went on some luxury athleisure uh, Instagram brands that I really like and their stuff is just really expensive and I was like you know what I love kind of recreating those really like luxe streetwear athleisure looks for less especially with boohoo items they have their I find like one of the best for that so um, if you guys have seen my boohoo basics videos in the past like you know I like love shopping boohoo um, it is a little bit hit or miss sometimes with some of the items I got two items in this haul that um were totally like off like i couldn't even i'm not even gonna like put them on because they don't even fit so they were totally just a mishap mishap and that happens sometimes but everything else was really good so i'm really excited to show you um i've been living in this sweatsuit by the way this is the first thing and i love it oh my god i just kicked the camera hold on okay so um this is the first set um this I am really into this like mineral wash style for uh, sweats and hoodies. I just think it looks really cool and almost like vintage in a way. I don't know what it is, but anything with this sort of like mineral acid wash, I'm obsessed with. So this actually came in a set and I was like, that color is amazing. It's like a chocolate brown. I went for a size medium in the whole thing. So medium hoodie and then medium sweats. I probably could have done a small in these honestly, but but um, I, you have to order them together. So I just went for medium and I love it. Love, love, love it. Um, and it feels really good quality for Boohoo. It's incredible. So I hope by the time that I show this, it is still in, so in stock. Um, I'll put the exact link below and you guys can check. Fingers crossed, it's in stock right now. But by the time you see this, I'm not so sure. Um, and then let me get the next pieces and I'll just do the little try on like this. So the next thing I picked out was some of the stuff from their Seamless line and I really, really like this um, stuff from them. I got the bralettes were in one of my basics videos a while back and I love this material. It's kind of like just really stretchy, soft, flattering. You don't really need to wear a bra with it. So they have all the bralettes. I got a brown one. Um, I got, they started making like bodysuits, so this high neck and they're so comfortable literally like almost like underwear and then they also have this sage color um, and I got a little high neck crop top so really cute and then also this black bodysuit which has adjustable straps and it is a I think it's a thong bodysuit yeah but it's really comfortable honestly and I feel like wearing with this with sweats is just really comfy underneath a hoodie um, I'm not even wearing a bra and it's pretty like kind of forms to you and their their whole seamless line is really really comfortable so i love this i'll link all the seamless stuff but i feel like a really cute um if you're wanting like your sweats to feel a little bit more dressed up a bodysuit is really cute with sweatpants just makes it feel like a little bit more um put together layer some necklaces you know a little bit of makeup and it it kind of balances out the um bagginess of the sweats i would say so so here is the seamless chocolate bodysuit so so nice you guys it's really pretty and then with these joggers which are also chocolate it kind of gives a monochromatic look and i feel like mixing different shades of neutrals is a really nice way to make it look just really chic and kind of effortless and cool so um this is the bodysuit this is amazing it's like nice and high neck but it's not too chunky up here it's like kind of petite and no bra just kind of hugs you in it's really really nice next dress it is a long sleeve little snap button dress it is so cute i got it in chocolate brown 
and this is so me i love the long sleeve right now while it's a little bit colder out but this is from their petite line um which i'm only 5'2 so if you are any taller than 5'2 this is gonna definitely be way too short for you because it is like the perfect short length on me um so definitely not if you're any taller but um i'll link the normal height version if you need that but it is so cute they make it in black and some other colors like what a cute little simple dress and i love it with crew socks and a little zip up hoodie and a bag i think it is such a cute like casual outfit um with some jewelry and it's just really cool i don't know i love it you could even do like a chunky boot with it um or something like that next item is this really cute hoodie um i'm sorry crew neck um and it is that same kind of mineral wash it's almost like the exact same color as those sweats but it's just a cute crew neck with a little bit of font on it on the front and the back it says woman like boohoo woman and um this is like perfect for wearing over leggings and wear it just like this and i feel like this is a really easy way to dress up leggings that isn't so basic i've actually been really liking wearing crew socks over leggings lately with a sneaker like a chunky sneaker i just think it makes it look a little bit more like street style and cool um with like a hoodie or something i just think it's a really easy way to kind of dress up leggings so let me move back a little bit okay can you see better now there we go okay so um then i have just like a little crew uh baseball cap on and yeah it's just a a nice little look i'm wearing this in a size large and it just like covers the booty perfectly um you could even go up to an xl if they have it if you need it a little bit longer but really cute combo for a legging look if you're not wanting to feel like such a bum in leggings or if your hair is greasy and then just layer some jewelry get a cute bag and um yeah this is like perfect on third or fourth day hair like throw on a hat with like this combo and just looks cute and cool this is something first of all this top is something i did not think would work from boohoo and i'm actually very pleasantly surprised because it's a little bit of a risky cut but it's super cool um kind of like a cut out i don't know situation i think it's so pretty and it's seriously staying up like i'm not having to adjust or anything i'm like trying to bounce to show you guys now i'm like a 34 c if you're bigger chested maybe this top probably might not hold up without anything so i'd be aware but if you're smaller chested um you will pull this off amazingly and i think it's just really cool and different edgy looks like a cool expensive designer piece um and these are my favorite drop dead favorite sweats from boohoo um now i have these in the gray color and this beige is so pretty it's kind of like a heathered beige i don't know if you guys can see it as like beige and gray in it and these are super oversized so i get an extra small in these and i roll them up at the ankle but i love the fit they're that really cool street style baggy um vibe that i am obsessed with and then i think something really oversized like that with a cool asymmetric top is a really good combo i've got a hat on and it's just a really cute look so i love these i got them in another color and i also own them in the gray i think these are like a steal from boohoo um they're my favorite fitting jogger and i love them i think you should get them immediately and this color is really really nice the beiges are really hard to find but i feel like nobody really knows about this style from them and i'm always looking for like that perfect boohoo sweat um and i love these and they have the string so really nice all right this next top i love this is another example of a monochrome kind of look you could also throw on a hat if you wanted to add even more of like a tomboy element but um this is another crop top it's kind of like a slinky material and definitely for maybe a mid to smaller chested gal because it has an open tie back so let me get up close so you can see so pretty though and um actually not see-through surprisingly but really pretty high neck but really nice like slinky thin not like scraggly thin material but i don't know just like a really nice soft slinky material and i just think like 
so cute, right? Um, the little tie back, it's really cool and kind of like my signature sexy tomboy look, I like to say. And then lastly, here is the same pair of sweats, but in this really beautiful like taupey lavender color. Um, it's gorgeous, very unique, and kind of like a mauve, actually. It's so pretty. Still kind of like neutral where it's not super, it's still like muted. Um, and then this really nice ribbed um, bodysuit tee, which I think is really cute, stuck into sweats. It's a bodysuit. I'm wearing um, a gray bra. I need to be wearing like a nude bra, but it's perfect. And I think it comes in other colors too. Um, with a nude bra, I think it would be just fine, just that I'm wearing gray right now, so you can kind of see, but I really like a tee, a fitted tee bodysuit tucked into jeans, I mean into, um, well I do like it tucked into jeans, but into sweats as well, but the lavender is just gorgeous, white, um, these sneakers are my Adidas, but yeah, hat, necklaces, hoops, whatever, you guys know the drill, but yeah, so that's some of my new like Lux, Lux Athleisure on a Budget finds from Boohoo. I love their stuff. It's just like putting it together in a, a, like a nice way that makes it look super luxur luxurious, but they have all the right basics for that. And these sweats I think are literally like the best thing ever. So you should definitely hit them up. Um, they're my favorite ones. And if you're taller, this will definitely work for you because they're kind of on the longer side. Like I cuffed mine and they work. So Anyways, we're going to get into the rest of the vlog, but wanted to start that off for you guys. I will um, link everything below with all of the sizes that I'm wearing and everything if you want to uh, check out Boohoo stuff. And yeah, hope you liked it. Good morning, morning everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. Bacon Greer. We ordered some Starbucks delivery from bed. Are we sharing egg bites? Um, you can have them. No, I don't. Because I ordered a bagel. Oh, sure. I'm not a fan of those. You're not? Not really. Mm. I mean, they're good. What kind of bagel did if, you like, order? If we're really hungry, I'll like eat them, but... What kind of bagel did you order? Um, avocado egg. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go put these in my And bread. sausage. From proper? From proper? From proper. Yeah. Um, but yeah, welcome back to another video. We are just having a normal morning this morning. It's Monday morning. I think it's March 8th, I believe. Just, just so you have the context, we're gonna start doing like regular daily vlogs again. It's been a while since we've just kind of like continued to produce them. We've done some vlogs, but we usually put them up a week after we film. Um, but we kind of miss doing the regular daily like vlogs where we vlog and like put it up the next day kind of thing. So we're back at it. Hopefully, you're watching this on Tuesday, March 9th, is the goal. March 10th, the latest. Anyway, I have a medical exam later, like a blood sampling thing, mostly for... Um, We're getting life insurance. Life insurance, yeah. Or it is for life insurance. In case one of us goes down for the count. Exactly. Basically. <laughs> I had some, some comments about these cookies. Pretty good. They're not bad. The vanilla tastes a little off. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? And they're so thin. I mean, they're supposed to be. The Slims, the Jodo Slims, but... I don't know. The flavoring's not quite on par with Oreos. Well, yeah. Oh, well, there's some flavor. Oh, there's my alarm. Can you get out? This always happens. Look at us. Are we maybe? No. Um, Is there a chance that we're well rested? Yeah. And by the way, we recently decided, off topic, that Mondays, we did, decided this like two weeks ago actually. But we don't we is. don't work out in the mornings on Mondays. We work no. out in the evenings on Mondays. That's too gnarly. And the in the morning workouts start on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. So, but actually that makes it kind of hard because you do a night workout, and then you come home and, and you go to sleep and you wake up and do a workout the next morning. I know. It's like quick back to back, but but it is what it is. It's just Monday morning. It's too hardcore. Coming back for the weekends, so oh. like we kind of sleep in on Mondays. We, we'll get up mm -hmm. at like eight forty-five. It's 9 a.m. right now. Yeah, and so my alarm went off, but I woke up because of a woodpecker. Oh my god, you guys! We have a wood. We have a guest in the house. It's a woodpecker that lands on our chimney. Mm -hmm. So at the top of the chimney, there's like a metal piece, and he sits on the metal piece and like he, goes, he drills <laughs> the metal 
piece and it sends like vibrations down to where our fireplace is. I literally go, Hunter, is there it's construction like, happening on our street? Like what, where are they building? It's so loud. And he goes, no, it's a woodpecker. It's a freaking woodpecker. It literally sounds like a construction worker. It's like yeah. a drill hammering into the ground, like trying to break up concrete. It sounds like a jackhammer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, so jackhammer. loud, yeah. Because it's on that metal and that metal vibrates so loud. Mm -hmm. And it's right next to our room, so it's just like, it's really loud. So every morning Hunter gets up and goes, I go, I go and I like put my head in the in the fireplace and like yell up so he can like hear the sound come up. Maybe it's like our alarm clock. Well, yeah, that was that's what woke me up this morning. Could you get that off? I don't know. Eight. Really um, Anytime we're sleeping in on Mondays, we'll set an a um, an alarm as like a just in case alarm, like at like nine or nine fifteen or something like that. Yeah. Um, just in just case. in case <laughs> we sleep that long. Yeah. But we want to give our bodies the opportunity to sleep that long if we need to. Also, we've been getting a lot of questions about if we're getting another dog. I think some people were confused when I bought Julia the wiener dog hat. That we were surprising with the wiener dog and it wasn't the case. She just likes wieners a lot. Just kidding. I uh, like wiener dogs. <laughs> I'm kidding. She likes, she likes wiener dogs and I saw that hat and it's a hat brand that I own with different animals on it. So when I saw it, I thought of her. I thought it was funny. Anyway. We're probably not getting a wiener dog, at least anytime soon. No. That won't be the first dog that we get. I would love a wiener dog. I love them. Yeah, we'll probably get, so we funny. might go on it somehow. But it's not gonna be our next dog. Their backs dog. are really fragile. Yeah, they are really fragile. Um, but we get a lot of people asking if we're gonna get another Vishla, if we're gonna rescue a dog, what type of dog we're gonna get, when we're gonna get it, where we're gonna get it from. All so many questions. Mm -hmm. Um we also have some people telling us that we need a dog soon because it'll help with like our Getting, oh, over getting, getting over goose and getting into like the flow of a new routine mm. and a new house and stuff. So anyway, we will most trying definitely get a new dog. Yeah. We're trying to be patient. We already, we trust me, we really want one. We realize we're dog people. Like mm. we shouldn't really live without a dog, but we're trying to be mature. It's like for the first time in eight years not having a dog. Yeah. And so, if you're a dog person and you have a dog, you understand, especially if you've like had a, a dog pass away before. You'd understand the fact that like once your dog passes, like there's an emptiness that is there that you want to fill with another dog. Yeah. And so we're trying to fill it with like other things in our lives and like pursue passions and hobbies and friendships and socialize and, and stuff appreciate like, that. like any of the perks that come without having a dog. Yeah, the responsibilities. Because there are some, you know, for sure. But we definitely want a dog. We definitely want to fill that. We've even had some people say like, "Wow, you're already gonna get a new dog like this fast." Like you're not over a goose yet. It's like, no, we'd be getting another dog because we're not over a goose. Yeah. Um, it's brutal. But in the questions about are we going to like rescue a dog or that, you know, suggestions that we should rescue, we are 100% like in the same page there. Like we would love to rescue a dog and There's, go to a local shelter. Like Nashville has really good ones. Really good ones. Yeah. However, we're just kind of stuck on the Vishla breed, which yeah. I think is the only thing that um really holds us back from like looking at any other type of dog is that we just after owning a vishla and owning goose like we can't really get past like not having a vishla yeah it, it would either be rescuing a dog from a national shelter or yeah. we'd get a vishla and it's not you can't really do both there, there are vishla rescues but a lot of them are like a two-year waiting list and it's really hardcore because it's they're like like a very advanced breed. yeah and so when a vishla comes into like a a Vishla rescue. They're like specific rescues. You, you can't find a Vishla at just like a random shelter. They're like very specific rescues. They go, yeah. to, they go to Vishla rescue centers and the second a new one arrives, it already has like an owner. So it's like, you can't really go that route. I mean, I guess you could. It's just like a true, like a two to three year waiting process is what we've been told. Um, so yeah, we, we will probably rescue unless we get a Vishla and we're not sure what we're going to do yet, yeah. but we would love another Vishla. But that won't be for a while. We're still trying to have some patience and wait a little bit until we get another dog. So we're just, you know, going through a time where we're empty nesting. <laughs> yeah. And a quick fact about the Vishla breed, actually, if you are, for all of you who care so much, the Vishlas in, in, during World War II, they're, they're hung, Hungarian, by the way, they're from Hungary. And during World War II, they killed all the Hungarian Vishlas and there were six left. Yeah. Kind of a cool fact. It's crazy. They're kind of a rare breed. You don't see them too often. A lot of people no, like you don't. ask what breed Noah is because they've never seen them before. I know. And now when we see a beach flower, we're like, oh, it's so special. Yeah. 
But I will say, a lot of you guys, after knowing Goose, I mean, Goose could turn a dog hater into a dog mm -hmm. lover because he was just the best dog ever. Um, and even, like, we have friends that were like, we would never have got, get a dog, but then they meet Goose, and they're like, oh, this is a cool dog. What, what's the Vishla? I want one. Yeah. If Delaney and Clayton, actually, when they met Goose, they were like, we wanted Goose. They said we Goose turned Noah. them. <laughs> Noose, yeah, Noah turned them on, like, they wanted a Vishla, or, or at least got their, like, dog, like, love feelers going yeah. yeah but vishlas are definitely like i always like to put the psa out there that they are no joke i mean you guys saw goose in his like prime where he was just like the most lovely dog ever he was really mature yeah and he had grown up but as puppies and some of you have gotten vishlas and message me and you're like oh my god this puppy is insane like what do i do when will it mm -hmm. <laughs> will it calm down and i'm like not for like two three years it takes them about down. three to four years they're to very down. high energy yeah. they're bred for or they're meant for like hunting so their stamina is built to be like hours and hours and hours which is why they have so much energy so they need a minimum of like two hours of mm -hmm. exercise per day um they are really smart, so they're they... They're pointers. They're pointers. Yeah. Hunting dogs. If you're not really... They just need a lot of stimulation yeah. mentally and physically. So it's not just... I would just be warned if you're looking into it. Um, it is not... It's no joke. You uh, need to be very active. As a hunter, there's two types of dog hunting dogs. There's pointers and there's retrievers. There's like Labrador retrievers, golden retrievers. They're taught to like retrieve a bird when you shoot a bird, right? Pointers are the ones that like point out birds and flush them out to fly out of the bushes so the hunter can shoot the bird out of the air. Yeah. Noah is a pointer, or excuse me, Vishlas are pointers, and you can teach pointers to be retrievers as well. You can kind of treat, like, yeah. teach the inverse. Goose couldn't do that because he didn't like water. Right, so <laughs> when, at the time, like, I was, do, I was duck hunting a lot, you know, nine years ago or eight years ago when we got him, and I still like to duck hunt maybe like once a year, just like a family event, um, but we got Noah. I was gonna train him to be a duck hunter or a retriever, and he was scared of water. So you gotta do that. He became a house dog. swim. Yeah, they're like known, <laughs> he's a house dog. They're known to be good swimmers, but no one wouldn't swim. No, it's the only beach that didn't like. Well, he eventually did like swimming. You guys would see on our walks. He would. He go started in the swimming water. At, when he was like five. Yeah. Yeah. But um, he he would still he wasn't like a daring swimmer. Like let's jump off of like a dock and cannonball to water like some labs or vishlas or just they love it he would like kind of tiptoe into the yeah. water he was a little nervous about it yeah. so interesting when we get the next dog to see what characteristics they have that goose didn't have or a lot of good memories with goose we, we should probably um, at some point i'm gonna do like a oh goose gosh. montage yeah whether it's we on need youtube that. or instagram just something for all the memories but it's funny because i feel like i don't know if it's because he passed away but I feel like more than ever now, people ask us when, like, here when we meet people, like, "Oh, do you guys have a dog?" Yeah, and I'm like, I feel like no one needs to ask that. I know, <laughs> but I, maybe it's only because. And I'm I like, always oh, feel bad because they'll ask, always. and it's like, "Well, yeah, yeah, he, he passed, died. Like, he, he died like a week before I moved here." And they're like, "Oh my god, I'm they're so like, sorry." They're like, "I'm so sorry," and they feel so bad for asking. We're like, "It's okay. It's just the reality of it." But I actually felt bad when um we had bolt movers come yeah to our house the first time to get okay. our quote. <laughs> And Noah was still alive at the time, but like we were basically told he had like a few days left. Oh yeah. And the mover, the mover guy was like beautiful dog, beautiful dog, and it like just came out. I'm really like socially aware of like what I, my words like that's part of my job in like sales and stuff. And for some reason, when he said like he's like oh beautiful dog, and I was like I my instant response was like oh he's about to die. Oh he's about to and die. He got, has cancer. Probably like a week out. <laughs> yeah, I just like came out of me, and the guy was like oh. He was like oh I'm so I'm so sorry I I'm so sorry I even brought it up. And I was like, no, we I'm were sorry. like no was it's like, totally I didn't mean fine to say it don't that worry. He like, probably thought we were psychotic. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah he's about a week off. Yeah he's about to off die. the deathbed. God you look like an idiot. That was funny. But anyway. Okay, we need to get the day started. Great little coffee chat. Yeah. Her new nails are fire. Hunter likes my new nails. I, I, oh, I'm, I'm going to uh, check my bagel in front of Okay. We are Uber Eats number one customers. <clears throat> okay, look at my new nails, you guys. Move my face. Okay, right. How cute for me. So different. I love them. They're like abstract art kind of colors. And I love them. I found a really good nail place here in Nashville called Kao Nail Bar or Cow, something like that. But they do tons of nail art. And um, yeah, it's amazing. 
so that's that. You didn't tell me that you were getting a bagel. Maybe I would have want, not wanted a, a Gruyere egg bite. Well, I told you that before you ate the Gruyere egg bite. Because I thought you were going to have half of this. I mean, look at that. It's beauty. That is a work of art. Mm -hmm. That's so much what you show the camera. I mean, how dare you? It's oh avocado, my god. Cream cheese, scrambled egg, sausage, and arugula. Holy yum. That's yours. I got you a half. Well, I can't, I can't eat all that. Anyways, um, today I am going to get my hair done. For those who are not familiar with the type of hair extensions I have, most of you guys are. I think most of you guys have the same kind. They're called natural beaded rows. I guess they're like the white girl's version of like a weave, but they're not typically a weave because they have like, uh, there's beads that go in the hair. They don't braid our hair to like put it in. Um, just cause I don't think, probably some people's hair type would be thick enough or like coarse enough to um, hold a braid. Mine could never, oh my God, it would just like slip out. So I have to get the beads, but here they are. They look all jacked up cause they're super grown out. And so today I'm going in to get them moved up at, and this is the first time I'm getting my hair done in Nashville. So I found a good salon through my friend Tiana and I'm really excited. It's called Salon Shade. I'll show you guys when I go today. I'll bring you along, but yeah, that's on the agenda. And that's it. Okay, you need your bagel. You got a little parfait too. Yeah, just not for now, but I want to try it for later. Okay. Try this. I just need, I just want to bite actually, so I don't want to eat. Eat that one. I don't want to eat the whole half. Don't eat the whole half. Once they start, I can't stop. Mmm. What'd you get on that? There's something different on it. I mean, but it, it's in a good way. Chutney. Oh, it's it's um their tomato jam. How do you get? Mm, yum. Hard to eat. So good. Yum. That's good, huh? See you in a second. I'm really good. Right, I just got out of the shower. Putting on my eye cream, oh, per usual. And Julia is getting ready for her hair appointment. Yes. What do we think of this outfit? I like it. Like it? Yeah. Actually, I, I do need to find a hair place. I haven't had my hair cut in a while. I bet there's a lot of good ones. And I want my. Um, I there's a lot of guys with long hair here. I want to get some of my color corrected. Okay. Well. By the way, we're both loving. Shit. Uh, what? We're both loving this perfume. Tom Ford. Oh my god. It's called Casa Azura. Wait, Costa Azura. Uh, to me, it smells very unisex. It does. It's um, almost like, like a cologne, in a way. Yeah. So um, we both, or I guess you found it. Yeah, I and found it. Mall, I was like, it smells so someone good. Someone said it smells like it's like the Mediterranean coast. So I was like, well, you know, we're Mediterranean, so we need that. Yeah. For sure. I mean, if we're going to be eating Mediterranean, we might as well be <laughs> sweating it and <laughs> smelling like it. Go the whole way. The whole way. Tell us about your um, outfit. I like it. Okay, well, I'm getting extensions moved up, so here's in the bun. This is my Nasty Gal. It's a wash and a new tea dress from Nasty Gal. They have really good tea dresses. And then um, blazer is from my Zara Halt, my faux leather blazer, and then my snakeskin boots, which I've had for a while now, and some gold hoops. I'm liking your um, darker hair right now. Yeah. Well, right now I have like a dark root, and then it's like lighter. Than yeah, but like with your hair back, it looks like your whole head it's is dark. dark. I know. It's nice. You probably well, see and all I think it. See all my extensions? Yeah, and it goes it goes nicely, I think, with your leather jacket. I think that's it's like popping yeah. because you have leather on. Totally. But anyway, no, this oh God, good outfit. Thanks for showing. It's all right. I have to wear this thing under this because it's white and I don't have any tan spandex, I don't think. Well, I might actually. It looks good. Maybe better. I don't want these to stick out. Why? It looks like you're wearing spandex. Okay. You can't tell. Cool. All right. Oh, and I got some new jeans from ASOS. I like the way they fit a lot because they're kind of like baggier up top, but they're like hemmed nicely at the bottom where they kind of come in like a tape. They're like tapered really nice. When usually if they're like baggy up top, they're baggy down low, or they're skinny up top, skinny down low. These are the perfect like bagginess up top. Almost like a harem pant, but they're denim. And yeah, they're cuffed nicely. Shorter than what I would normally get because of the boots that I've been wearing lately. 
These are the fry booties. I talk about them all the time. I have the same exact boot, three different colors. These are the camel color. I have the dark brown leather and then more of like a rustic camel like orange color. And then we're in this like jersey shirt. But anyway, I wanted to show these jeans more than anything. So yeah. All right, you guys, we are on our way to the hair salon. Um, I'm following the nav because I've never been there before, obviously. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. And I don't think I'm gonna get my color done, just my extension move up. Um, and I put on a little extra makeup today because we are gonna be taking some photos, so looks like a little heavier than normal because um, that just usually works better for pictures and stuff. My um, lip color is oak lip liner it is like my all-time favorite usually what i'm wearing most of the time and i'm wearing some lashes from amazon just cut the edges i link all the stuff on instagram stories so um yeah i can if i remember i'll put the link below anyways let's go i'm gonna drive so i'll put you away see you there all right so i am the world's worst vlogger um I did not vlog in the hair salon at all. I'm so sorry. I really wanted to, but I was um, ended up chatting with one of the girls that was in the salon also getting her hair done, and we just like talked the entire appointment. So I didn't really think to like grab my camera out or anything. I'm currently getting gas, um, but I have to say the experience was amazing. I am obsessed with the salon, you guys. I'll put the name of it here. It's called Shade and it's small which i love it's like three girls and they specialize in like luxury hand tight extensions it's so cute if you're in nashville you have to go there you have to go there tell them i sent you and they're just the cutest girls ever they're amazing and so nice um it was just so great so we just did a move up today no color or anything um they just put a gloss on my hair just to make it like shiny and nice perfect little beach waves i don't know how they do it i can never get my beach waves to look like this but it's fine and now i am getting gas so i'm at the gas station there's this weird guy looking at me and i'm literally in like a t-shirt dress so i hate when that happens i love that for me I'll just keep the camera going just in case anything happens i can always uh have it on record yeah but um Okay, let's see here, how much longer? 35. Um, yeah, so headed home, and then Hunter and I are doing at 45 tonight at 5.30, which it is like literally 4.45 right now, so I live to go home, change, we're gonna turn around, go to the gym, get a little workout in, and uh, yeah. So, that's the day. But, it was a good day. Oh, I also met Jessica Stocksill for lunch after my hair appointment. And that was great. Adore her. We met um, the other night uh, for dinner um, with Hunter and her husband, Brent. And then, yeah, we had a little girls lunch. So I lo love her and adore her. She's so cute. Um, so I did that. So it was a nice day. Hair and girls lunch. And now for a workout. I think that's a pretty good Monday, actually. It's a fun one. Is this almost done? Okay, creepy guy's leaving, so that's good. Um, it's just like, you know, every time you like look at someone to see if they're looking at you and they can make eye contact, you're like, why are you staring at me? That's what I was getting. Okay, one sec. gonna get out of this there's no way okay I'll see you guys at home all right we're home just changed and we're going to the gym I parked in the driveway by the way sorry I think I have the keys I have the keys you have the keys okay all right and we're headed to F45 um been a busy day it's been a busy day how much working on tax stuff oh, oh it's so nice out there yeah, it's cardio day. Oh my god, the weather is like 70 degrees. It's beautiful. I'm on eight now. Can't get a pass now. I'm a cash cow. Keeping it brash now. It's 
trash now, I'ma spaz out I've been killing my lows and living on highs You see in the skies the proof You could just see in my eyes that there is no lies I cannot disguise the truth It was, uh, it was hard So hard It was Athletica, right? Athletica is by far the hardest class Was it Athletica? I heard you say that, but I don't I think it is, it's the when you do the four Or is it triple double? No, 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 no it's not triple double F, four, five It is, what does it say? Yeah, it's Athletica. Athletica. If you want a high intensity workout, do Athletica and at 45. It's yeah, so it's, hard. Well, it's literally like you're basically sprinting <sighs> the entire class. I say hard. It's, it's like, not even focused. It's not like it's like, like you got to be like really strong to do it. It's no. more of like cardio, hard. cardio, nonstop. Cardio. Like, oh yeah. You had jump, you had box jumps. I had kettlebell jumps. Kettlebell jumps? And What's that? Well, it was like uh, kettlebell swings where you have to do like a jump in between. Oh. Uh, and then I also had uh, no, the you. hammer, jumping with the hammer. Oh my god. Yeah, I, that Freaking station is by jump. far the worst. It sucks. By far. I always get stuck there. I can't wait till <laughs> you always get stuck That's there. not the one I would choose, but it's... There. What do you want to do for dinner? That's the uh, question of the century every single night. Question of the century. I know. This is what happens if we don't get groceries. This girl's in a rush. Careful, She's honey. flying around me. Um, if you don't get groceries on Monday, then you're screwed. Cause, well wait, is today Monday? Today's Monday. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, so Amazon. So we're a day behind, we'll do it tomorrow. I'm doing Amazon Whole Foods. I should just place it in my cart tonight and get it scheduled for tomorrow. I'm gonna do that, like, while I watch some TV, I'm gonna load the grocery we can do cart. A little, we can do a little, uh, meal plan. <sighs> yeah, exactly. We'll do my lemon cake shot again. Yep. We'll do the salmon. Yep. Let's get back to corn salad, we haven't done that in a while. Really, I'm, I, know, I think I OD'd I know, on that dish. But we haven't had it in a while and it might be all good. Right, it might be right. refreshing. Okay, okay. It's starting to get warm on Thursday okay. at 70 degrees. Perfect. Deal. All right. Deal. You can, you can do, we can do that with salmon. Okay. We'll do a Caesar salad one night. And then maybe like a shrimp. The shrimp bowl's friendly. Sure. And then that's four nights. We only need four nights because we have dinner this week with a friend. Yeah. So we actually okay, cool. only need three nights then. Okay. Not that one. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like this week... I'm really feeling like the, our move Back into it. has taken a turn. Like the move has been really good, but I mean, in terms of like when you finally feel like things are clicking and you're feeling like at home, this is the first week where I'm like, I'm feeling, you know, I'm settled. in it. I'm feeling a little more settled and not like I just moved here. I agree. And also I feel like I got a lot of stuff done Yeah. out of the way that were like more like um, adulting tasks totally. today. Then now I can focus on like work. Yeah. Work, work. Yeah. Um, I got my blood taken today, so I was like kind of nauseous during the workout. Because oh, they, they really? take a lot of blood, really. If you they kind of do. Did you watch it? Yeah. I watched oh, it. I can't I watch. watch. I like watching like the needle going in and stuff. Oh. Is that like a serial killer shit? Kind of. Uh, I think it's cool. Okay. I'm so fascinated by how like a needle goes in your body and pulls blood. It's weird. It's so you fascinating. You watched it? Oh yeah. my god. Um, so I did that. Got some work done. Some taxes done. Getting it going. Whoop, whoop. File your extensions ASAP if you haven't done your taxes yet. The taxes are due in April. Right. You, your return. Oh, it's you, March. You know, you know, it's actually okay. This is like an adulting side note tip conversation. And I'm gonna try to get this out as clearly as possible. If I don't, then I'm not gonna include this at all. So. I, like you tap, I, I, that, was, tip. that was the uh, most patience that I have. I, I, all my patience I don't even have patience for myself. <sighs> let, me, let me try that again. Okay. No. <laughs> what are you going to do for dinner? Um, we'll, we'll whip something together and I'll... Okay. Hey, feeling good about the workout. I'm glad we went. Me too. My shins are starting to hurt from the jumping. And we got 8.30 tomorrow. Yeah. We're going to have to take some time off when we're, um, go to Round Top, so... Yes. It's gonna be rough. We need to book our flights for that. Yeah, we should do that tonight. All right, y'all. It's the end of the day, and we're kind of winding down. We just got our PJs on. And Joy's gonna go downstairs and talk to your sister for a little bit. My sister. Angelica. Yeah, I haven't talked to her in a hot minute, so we're gonna catch up. Usually, yeah. it's like an hour or two conversations. So I'm gonna go peace out and get on the phone for a while. We are grabbing groceries tomorrow. And that's a wrap we'll on the day. Maybe we'll catch up with you here try. after Julia's phone call, but I'm gonna chill and watch some TV, catch up on some news maybe. It's a day in our life. We'll see you tomorrow.